Right, so I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, it's international break. Steve, what are you going to be doing this week? Well, I'll tell you and show you what I'm about to be doing this week. I am back in the kingdom of Bahrain. The beautiful weather is much needed because Manchester is absolutely freezing at the moment. And we are here for the World Amateur Mixed Martial Arts Championships 2019. I was there a couple of years ago. I had an absolutely mint time and I'm delighted to have been invited out again. So I'm going to show you everything that we are up to. We've got brilliant seats. We're doing like a bit of a match of the day kind of style of show. So definitely go and check that out. I'll throw a link like here in the corner and I'll also throw one in the description go and check out the show that we're doing we're interviewing some fighters we're showing you the highlights basically literally like a match of the day kind of style show but for this world championship so definitely go and check that out and go and subscribe to mma latest but this is going to be a vlog of everything else that we're up to we have got the uh, world mma awards as well while we're here so i'm going to get you know a bit of a tuxedo and shit on looking fresh as a motherfucker we have got uh, a beach party that we are going to tonight we have got we've got all sorts of stuff so why don't you sit down go grab a brew and watch it see you in a minute What's he doing different? definitely lost the fight so Mo should just which he's done now he's just take him down and just dominate him what, why even risk trying to try to strike with someone who's clearly a very good striker just fucking take him down and Khabib the shit out of him service because we bailed out on the tournament to make sure we got back and it was a good thing we did actually because traffic was total gridlock uh, and I don't know what time everyone else is going to get over to get ready for the awards dude we've had a bit of time I might even be able to squeeze a nap in here um, so I've gone for pizza I've got to keep it on brand obviously uh, and to be honest the menu is not great and Mate, look at that for a brownie. That's like a brownie mattress. Is it nice? Yeah, it's decent. Is it? It's not warm. Oh, that's a shame. By any definition of the word, but it's nice. And we got ice cream with it too. Bish bash bosh. So let's scrub this. Um, we saw Mokhev become the two-time world junior bantamweight champion of the world today. Oh, world champion of the world. Yeah, well, that's what he is, I suppose. Um, in an unbelievably dominant performance and do you know what considering that he had an absolute ninja route to the final and his opponent had a bye yesterday because someone didn't make weight and a, a, an early submission 
should have been fresh in the daisy and and Mokke have just absolutely shut him down so impressive he says he's going to stay amateur as well um, his sponsorship that he's just got from Team KHK to stay amateur that could be big by the time he steps into the pros he could be like one of the most well rounded athletes that's out there and you'd have to start taking money on whether or not he's going to end up as like UFC champion um, not sure what weight he'll end up at he's fighting at 135 at the moment he's 19 years of age I would think probably 145 might be his home because he's also not cutting much as well to stay this way because when you fight 3-4 fights um, in 3-4 days you can't be cutting weight you, you would die if you was cutting a significant amount of weight so I've got to think that making 135 when he's allowed to cut weight when he's got the ability to cut weight probably pretty easy for him uh, so he could stay at 135 but I think as he starts packing on some size as he grows and gets older probably live at around about 145 which is is where Brendan's at right now so he's got good training partners in and around that sort of area um, we'll see where he goes with it tonight we are off to the MMA World Awards that should be fun a um, little bit of a piss up tuxedo tackle so I'm going to scram this pizza and go and get dressed and go and have a, a good night out tonight <laughs> Right then, it is Friday today. A little bit of a day off, it's a bollard day, you don't want to hit. Um, so we're going to come to this Marina Laguna type of fair here. Walk around a little bit, get something to eat, obviously. Um, we've got nothing to do today until Brave is on, which is not until um, probably about 8, 9 o'clock tonight. So chill day i do have to do a couple of videos for patreon i'll we'll be doing that when we get back in a little bit but a little bit of time out in the sun because you come to a hot country like this you want to get a little bit of sun don't you that's the minimum that you want in the get especially when it's freezing back home but all we do is sit in an air-conditioned arena for the whole week you see no sun and because it's also winter it goes dark at like r4 so by the time that the fights are over and you do go outside it's fucking dark samosas
Good, good. How are you? How are you, mate? How's everything? Callum. This is Callum. Nice to meet you. Muhammad Ali, I don't know if you know us. Are you ready? Yeah, man, where are we going? We're going to the souk. We're going to eat some uh, traditional food. Wait, like, to the souk? Yeah, to lo local food. Oh, I see. That was what we went to last time. Right? Yeah, yeah, we're yeah. going to go a different uh, side of the souk. So we got, we land. Yeah. We see the the conference sort of, uh, do the brave branding and stuff like that. I'll go yeah. speak to the guy uh, and tell him my name. And he, he takes us through customs. That's pretty cool, to be fair. Like they just have like a little fast lane for everyone yeah, that's here for, take the, you in the left. for the uh, for the tournament and yeah. that. So they, they took us through there, no problem, because the other queue was massive. Um, and then they're like, "Where are you going to? Are you going to the Wyndham Hotel?" And I was like, "Yeah." I don't know why I thought I was going to the Wyndham Hotel. No one's actually told me. I went through all my emails and all my texts, and I can't find. Must have been on the phone to someone. I can't find anyone who told me <laughs> I was at that hotel. But when that guy said it. He said, I just assume there's one yeah. hotel because every time I've been before, they've only had there's one, one hotel. hotel. They've yeah. never had two hotels. Yeah. So uh, I'm like, yeah, yeah, whatever. And we got on the, um, we got in a taxi. Yeah. Takes us to the door, and I've got a contact there who's going to meet me when when I get there to give me my mm. passes and stuff. So I'm texting him on the way, and I said, right, yeah, we're in the taxi now. I'll see you. He's like, right, I'm in the lobby. We get to the lobby, and I'm like. Nobody in the lobby, like, what are you talking about? So I'm like, I'm here, I'm in the lobby, and he's like, Yeah, so am I. And I'm like, He goes, What will tell you at Wyndham? And he's like, Yeah, we're at the Ramada. <laughs> Shit. He just walked across here, and I was like, I'm pretty sure I recognise this. Did we come here last time? I was here two years ago, obviously not been been here once. The hotel just behind the bush over there, which last time we was here, they told me it's the oldest hotel in Bahrain. But remember that shit, remember the location. Can't get me lost. Um, for local Mancunians watching, for some reason, Vimto made its way to Bahrain and it's like a fancy drink. Yeah, yeah. And it's fucking banging out here. Like you can go to a restaurant and get a Vimto. How fucking cool is that? <laughs> So on Ramadan, what you do is drink Vimto, like all day, all night. Like the, the factory, I think, in Saudi, 80% of its revenue is in one month. Like literally one month. Vimto's the Ramadan drink of chance. <laughs> it's, it's a must. <laughs> is that just a Bahrain thing? No, no, no. no, 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 no. It's, it's a whole one week before, you can't find Vito. <laughs> so everybody go buy like, one month before. It's still Vito. Yeah. It doesn't smell like anything. Why does it look like this? Why does it look like refrigerated piss? Yeah, because maybe it is. Just explain what it is. I think it's refrigerated piss. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, just, 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 I don't like that you're laughing. <laughs> <laughs> so apparently it's saffron and sugar, but it might be piss. No? It's no. supposed to be healthy. <laughs> it's pissed, it's pissed. It? <laughs> I don't want to piss. <laughs> Yeah, I can yeah, taste yeah. the I can taste the saffron, but it's a bit of a. Oh, we're gonna, give, we're gonna give you a couple. It's fine. <laughs> I've had it before. No, I've had it before. Come on, come on. I can't live. Do you like this? Yeah. Let's try it. Let's try it. Riha, Riha. We have a new friend here today, don't we, Callum? You should, you should try it, Callum. Yeah, you should definitely try this. It's it's. Uh, it's uh, it is what they. It is my fault. Um, I don't eat. I don't eat it. I didn't like it. I don't like it. Oh, sir. Okay. Nice. This is a good touch. This is a good punch right now. It's just tissue. I think it's better. What is better? Come on. 
<laughs> Got me with that shit last year, no, two years ago. <laughs> Fuck no. <laughs> I don't think I want the vegetables. Is it, is it? We call it nausea because it's not too much saucy. It's it's, for us it's dry. dry. So this is dry. <laughs> uh, this is uh, fried tikka, which is small pieces of Saffron cake, so yeah. it's this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like a new trend. Yeah. We have a bit of that as well. I don't want saffron, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. طبعا صدق والله كده وانا وين هاي ما 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 We've checked out. We've just been, we've just been for lunch at the top of, I think it might be the, if not, it, it's what top three tallest skyscrapers in Bahrain. Here's a photo from the top of there. Um, for lunch in a private restaurant, um, which was different, I guess. Um, so, so cheers to those guys for that. That was a lovely meal. Um, we're now just waiting um, and just killing time really until it's time to go and get on the big bird home. Um, we basically fly at midnight, we arrive in Frankfurt at 6.30 local time and we've got to wait a couple of hours and then we fly back to Manchester. We get back to Manchester airport about 12. I'm hoping to be back in the office with no sleep uh, around about 1 if everything goes to plan. I'm going to record a podcast with Dave about the youth. I'm going to do five things we learned on international break and then I'm going home and I'm going fucking bed till about Wednesday. Sounds like a plan that to me. <laughs> <laughs>